I have created five tiers for all of the tricks. Each trick has been attributed with an average rating of difficulty based on six individual scores provided by me and some of my teammates uh, and Trickmania friends that were willing to participate. Many thanks to Schmaniel, Bresso, Darkling, Plasterix and Draghi. I also included a standard deviation. It tells whether we agreed on the difficulty unanimously or whether each of us had a different opinion. If you're interested in the data, you can check out the document and spreadsheet via the link in the description. I have prepared clips showcasing each and every one of the tricks. Next to them you'll find their difficulty rating and standard deviation, color-coded appropriately to their tier. Below that you can find information regarding the player and the map. This video has timestamps, so if you don't want to watch all of the tiers, then you can jump to your desired one. I don't want to spoil the placements right now, but at the end of the video you'll be able to see the complete list. Bear in mind that the goal of this video is to document all of the techniques and briefly uh, sort of explain them, but not to create an entry-level tutorial. With all of that being said, let's begin with the D tier. Water bounce. From my testing it seems that you need at least 215 km an hour for your car to bounce, similar to stone skipping. But other than that, absolutely nothing else is required, hence the flat 1 rating. Brake tap. Quickly pressing the brake button might be useful for making a corner that is simply not possible to do full speed. I will return to this term while talking about S4D. Freewheel bypass number 1. The freewheel block shuts down the car's engine, making it unable to move once you lose all of your speed. However, if you find yourself in this position, then you can just wait patiently and the car will still move on its own. Air brake. Pressing the brake key midair will stop the car's rotation and allow for a better landing. This technique is just about timing and clicking one button. Freefall. Accelerating while midair makes your car fall faster compared to not pressing any keys. Start trick number one. Driving on the side of the start catwalk right before a booster block allows for a higher speed. Drifting. This might be a bit controversial, but you have to keep in mind that drifting is easy to perform as it requires holding down the acceleration, turning and braking. Mastering it, however, is a different story. It takes thousands of hours to achieve the level of a player like Karian. Auto slide. It occurs whenever you steer too much while having a lot of speed, or when transitioning from one surface to another. Wall bang. By hitting the wall at a high speed, you are sometimes able to get a better exit to a turn, without the need of braking or letting go of acceleration. Wall ride number one. You can drive on walls, but if your entry or speed is not optimal, you'll fall off. Airtime. Whenever you're not in contact with the ground, you're unable to accelerate. In Trackmania, it can make a huge difference to minimize the amount of time that you spend in air. Start trick number two. Delaying the moment you touch the colorful booster in the start and timing it so that you drive over the 200% variant results in much more speed. Counter steer. It minimizes the rotation of your car. Hold down the turning key opposite to your car's rotation while in air to make it work. Anti-booster skip number one. By building up some speed while driving backwards, you're able to pass as many anti-boosters as you want. Grass or dirt wiggle. If you drive on grass or dirt while having over 230 km an hour and begin quickly turning left and right, you'll generate more speed than by just driving straight. Anti-booster skip 2. While driving forwards and drifting 90 degrees to the left or to the right at the beginning and then performing 180 turns successively, you can drive over anti-boosters. Roof hit. Similar to a wall bang, a roof hit in some situations can be faster than just jumping or releasing acceleration. Back finish or back checkpoint number one. Because the hitbox of these two blocks extends beyond the road, your car can trigger them from underneath. 
It is important to note that it is much easier to get it from the left side, because the hitbox expands further there than on the right side. Higher ramp jump. Going over the side of a ramp block with the middle of your car can result in an upwards push. Backwards driving. A skill and a map style of its own. Backwards driving is much different than normal driving, but it's almost never practical, as you have better acceleration driving forwards. Pipe balance. The act of keeping your car on top of a pipe block without falling off. Wall ride number two. If you find yourself in a position where you can drive over the top of a wall ride and you drop all of your wheels off of it, then your momentum will carry you forwards. Wheel climb. A technique mostly used in RPG or trial maps, which allows you to get all of your wheels back on the road. Right trick. By doing a small wiggle before a drop down, you can make your car rotate slightly to its side, as well as minimize airtime, both of which grant you shorter time without accelerating. Backwards slide. While driving backwards and performing a wiggle or a prolonged slide, the car generates much more speed. Works on all surfaces. Ramp cut. Pretty much self explanatory. Some players also use this term when talking about a ramp flip, more on that later. Edge bug. Like in a higher ramp jump, driving over the edge of any flat block with the middle of your car pushes you up. Stadium climb. A tedious job, but by gathering a lot of speed outside the stadium and hitting this black part, it can get you up on the stadium roof. Such standard deviation score mostly comes from Bristol's rating, perhaps you can nail it every time. Thank you, Draghi, for providing me with a replay. Wall ride number 3. If you want to drive over the top of the wall ride faster than just with the previous technique, then you can keep three wheels in contact with it, like so. Backslide. One of the techniques that revolutionized Trackmania. The backslide, also known as grass slide, is a combination of pressing forward, turning and braking on landing whilst having your car rotated at around 90 degrees either to the left or to the right. The angle can be a bit smaller or a bit bigger. No slide. Avoiding a drift in certain turns allows for bigger exit speed and tighter turning radius. Overwall. By either coming at the wall from a 45 degree angle, or by driving backwards, you can climb the border of the roadblock. Hardly useful in normal races, but a must-have skill for RPG or trial maps. Turtling and Unturtle 1. I have decided to merge these two as they are closely intertwined. Turtling is driving your car while it's on its back. If you find that annoying, then you can try to unturtle, using a wall or any other object. As you can see, there is a huge standard deviation, mostly coming from the fact that both Blasterx and Draghi are much more experienced trial and RPG players, and they have rated this trick lower than us. Ram or Ram Bug The black borders of road pieces generally hurt the players more than they help, but if you're willing to take the risk and know how they work, you can pull off stunts and tight turns. It's a rather playstyle dependent technique, so that could explain the standard deviation. Flow trick. Flow trick works on the same principle as the right trick, however, it incorporates the usage of a ram bug. Meme bounce or nose dive. Uh, here I'll let myself uh, read a quote from Mada when I ask him how he would define it. Meme bounce is landing early on the back wheels on curved landing, creating a nose dive landing. Reverse booster trick. To be honest, I don't know how to explain this one. Color for booster shenanigans. If you have any explanation for it, then you can leave a comment. Anti booster skip number two. This one requires a very specific timing of left and right tapping while simultaneously going forward and braking. Your fingers get tired rather quickly doing this technique. Wall ride number 4. If you want to be even faster than what wall ride 3 offers, then you can get half of your wheels off and try to drive full speed. Gear management. 
a very complex technique mostly utilized in tech or dirt maps. In Trackmania, the gearbox is fully automatic. In specific situations, you either want to maintain high revolutions per minute without the car automatically gearing up, or gather more speed and shift to the higher gear in order to make, say, a jump smoothly. Body roll. I'll use another Mara quote. Body roll is the car rolling the opposite way that you turn because of g-force, just like real life. It often occurs in full speed maps where for example you turn to the right and have a drop down afterwards. Uh, your car will turn to the right, but g-force will still pull it to the left slightly. Ass bounce. Well, I, I did make this term up, but I think it explains this technique perfectly. By landing on the nameplate or the spoiler part of the car, you can perform something similar to a bunny hop. Checkpoint climb. Uberbug or Uberbug, an extension of a backslide. Uberbug occurs when the car hits an object while backsliding. The results can be sort of mind boggling. Nosebug. Nosebug is a very potent technique, allowing the player to make a sharp 90 degree turn and preserve all of his speed. It uses the same key combination as backslide. Positioning your car like this can be tricky though. Pipe dance. By performing these risky wiggles, you can build up much more speed than by driving safe. Speed slide. A full speed technique where you auto slide and try to keep the skid marks on all of your wheels, not as close as possible to each other, but overlap them at around 50%. It results in a substantial speed difference. To start a speed slide, you need at least 390 to 400 km an hour. Pad players have an advantage over keyboard players with this one as it requires smooth steering. Teleport also known as bugging through objects. If the car is stuck and you hold acceleration and braking, then sometimes you can teleport to another spot or inside a block. Back finish or back checkpoint too. You can trigger the hitbox through the side panels. As with the first back finish and back checkpoint, the left side is easier to get. Neo slide. Neo slide is the hardest sliding technique. In cases where you don't have enough speed for a normal drift, you can perform a Neo slide. There's plenty of YouTube videos explaining how to perform it better than I ever could. Free will skip number one. Not a bypass this time, since you're not triggering the engine killer. By getting your car stuck on its side, you're able to essentially hover over the block and then return to your normal driving. Ramp flip. Driving off of the ramp in this fashion not only gives you some height, but also cuts down the airtime and preserves all of your speed. Speed for drift, aka stop for drift. Doing a brake tap while driving full speed on a flat surface allows you to set up a speed slide. Tom bug or twin bug. Getting your wheel behind the start block lights can teleport you underneath the road. Named after the FWO members Tommel and Trinity. Pipe 180 turnaround. Incredibly risky technique involving a pipe dance and getting your wheels off of the block. Thanks to Ignital for linking me the map and Draghi for providing me his steady one replay. Pool escape. My first exposure to this trick was through a Jav video, not sure how known it was before that. By gathering speed underwater and hitting the pool corner at a specific angle, you can get your car outside the water. No spin. Pillar bounce. If you inspect a pillar block, then you can see that the manor is sticking out a bit. You can use this ledge to plunge yourself up into the sky. The huge standard division again comes from Plasterex and Draghi's scores. Anti-booster skip number 3. 
Aside from squeezing yourself to the wall of an anti-booster, you can also fit your entire car on the RAM without touching either of the sides, allowing yourself to essentially keep accelerating. Free wheel skip number two. This is a relatively new trick, which is the fastest way of driving over an engine killer block without triggering it. I myself have never been able to get it. Hef trick, a trick named after Hefest that is related to normal and colorful boosters that also uses the anti-booster skip number 3. I highly recommend watching Ignitol's video on this. G-Start. You can teleport under the start block by hitting the catwalk from behind. And this trick was uh, well discovered by the FWO player G-Star. Elevator. There are two variants of it. One of them starts with a turtle, the other starts inside of the white pillar block. Theoretically, this one isn't possible in vanilla conditions, but if you get lucky and teleport inside of there, then maybe. To be honest, I don't think I'm the right person to explain the elevator, as there's a 4-page Google Doc created by Loki explaining the second variant, and you'll be able to find the link in the description. Free wheel bypass number 2. For some reason, if you get one of the wheels stuck on the spectator booth's rail while under the effects of an engine killer, this will happen. Spider. If you come at a flat wall from the front and steer to the left or right while falling, chances are you'll be able to turn for a brief moment and cover a much longer horizontal distance. One wheel hook. By doing an overwall and getting one of your back wheels stuck on the border, you can essentially launch yourself underneath the road. It is difficult to get enough pull with this trick though. And turtle number two. At this point, the car becomes a rocking chair that is swinging so hard it flips to the other side. Many thanks to Nixion for providing me with a replay. Back finish or back checkpoint number three. In order to get clips for this technique, I had to ask the tool assisted speedrunning community for help because these two tricks are extremely unlikely to occur. I would like to send a huge thank you to the Mats Walk for providing me with a back finish replay and then going further beyond and brute forcing a back checkpoint replay just for me. Um, by hitting the banner above the finish or the checkpoint block, you have an astronomically low chance of bagging through the top and triggering the hitbox. It took Matt's 300,000 iterations for the finish replay, then roughly another 2 million while looking for a way to trigger the back CP in the same fashion. Nose boost. Multiple nose bugs stacked on top of each other. This technique is theoretically possible to perform as a human being, provided you have a reaction time of 30 milliseconds or very fast fingers. Currently it is being extensively explored in the task community and absolutely destroys maps and human world records. One wheel speed slide. One wheel speed slide is something so far out of normal trackmania thinking that it's hard to even begin talking about it. Apparently on BO4, just as Hefest or Soft or Link or anyone going for the RAM strat are being pulled up, they unknowingly initiate a one wheel speed slide. Similar occurrence can be seen on B10 and perhaps even A01. Oh, I don't know if I told you Virtual, I found out something about A01 that Travadia actually does, and I don't know if he did it on purpose. But it's also, this fact also means that the famous no SD 2399 is actually not a no SD. The very first jump on the landing is actually a one wheel SD. Very brief, but it's there. So that 2399, well, I don't remember who did it, but that was actually with a one wheel SD, so it doesn't count as a no SD run. Yep. Have a look at it, see if you can spot it. Speed over 1000 km an hour. 
This started with a clip Hefest got while playing Kakis Kaki number minus 39. Unfortunately, it turns out that it's only a visual bug and the car still travels at a maximum of 1000 km an hour. If you like this tier list and would like to support me, then you can visit my Instagram page and give me a follow there. Thank you for watching.